YouTube. Hey guys, so this is my first YouTube video and basically I've been really wanting to make a video for a really long time but I just haven't known what video to do and I was thinking about it the other day and it hit me. I should do something that I've seen in the society happen and something that has personally happened to me so I can relate to it. So I just basically wanted to speak about bullying in general and but most specifically cyberbullying and what the person on the other side of the screen goes through. So basically I went through a really rough time. I think it was about in grade nine. I got Kumi. Well first of all I got Kumi in grade eight and it was all fun and games and I got over it. And then I got Kumi again. And it was really fun and interesting until it kind of just flipped, you know. I went through hate, like complete hate, and things haven't really been the same ever since. Um, I've pretty much been called absolutely everything you can think about, from fat, like you can, you can name it, I've been called all of it. So I just wanted to make this because I've seen people continuously in the past few years posting photos with captions where they basically stand up for themselves and they're just like, hey guys, listen, please can you stop sending these bad coups? I've had people DM me telling me that they've deleted Kumi and because of my situation is so rough, they were like, I think you should do the same, it's much better. To the point where I actually, like, I kind of like used to brush them off and I eventually did. So I just want to do this for me as a person that never stood up. For the people that did stand up and more specifically for the people that never did. The people that cry themselves to sleep. The people that actually believe the words that the anonymous behind the screen said to them. What I learned from that situation was that the bully or oh, and the person being bullied have been hurt. You know what they say? They say hurt people hurt people. And it honestly, I, I can't. I know that personally the whole Kumi situation hurt me a lot. It had me thinking about if I do this, what will people think? If I wear this, what will people think? Will I look fat? And um, it really did bring up, bring down my self-esteem as a person. And I really do think it. people that have gone through it constantly think about these things. They end up actually believing it. To a certain extent, the anonymous for me started sounding like it was from me. Like, before that, I, would, I never thought, like, hey, you know. But... To a certain extent, the bullying starts sounding familiar. And I think that is the worst part of it. When you start believing that you're ugly, you're easy, you're all of these things. I remember getting such intense accusations and rumors. Like there was this one time that someone sent me a kumi along the lines basically saying that I'd hooked up with this person when I went to party in the park. And I had stayed home that weekend. I remember the hate got so intense where there was a night where I actually started laughing. I used to go and Kumi and there'd be like seven messages just like on and on and on. Telling me stuff like you're second place, you're not good enough. Where situations that were happening to me personally had somehow been in the hands of people I didn't even know. So I just want to make this video to basically, basically right now I've just kind of tried to relate myself. I, yes, I believe that not everyone feels the same way. Not everyone goes through the same things exactly the same. But those who have gone through bullying by other people, the main feeling is sadness. I've been sad. You've been sad if you've gone through the same thing. And I just want to tell you right now, right now, I just want to just stop everything right now and tell you, 
that you are good enough. You are not the words they try to define you. Never let anyone make you feel like you're in this little trapped box because you're not. You are everything. You are more than words can even describe. You are more than this world. You are the universe, the stars, the Milky Way. You're everything. Don't let anyone define you. So, yeah. It hurt. It really did. Um, but here I am. Today. I believe that life is like a car going on a journey. Sometimes it'll be smooth roads, sometimes bumpy. And I believe that the darkest of times are tunnels. You see, tunnels are dark, like really, really dark. And your car is just cruising to a point because to get to some destinations, you have to go through a tunnel. Sometimes these tunnels are long and sometimes these tunnels are darker than others but what you're always guaranteed is that after a tunnel there'll always be light so don't ever give up don't let other people's words define you you know what they say it's its darkest before it's its brightest that not every not a, like a flower doesn't bloom every season don't think that you will. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. It doesn't mean that you're weak. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm positive. I went through it positively. No, I didn't. I, it was a very, it was a very hectic time in my life. But you always get through it. You'll always get through it. Just have a friend. Have someone to speak to. Speak about it. Let it out. Scream if you have to. Everyone gets through everything in a different way. Just get through it. It might take time. Maybe months. Even years. It took me a long time to make this video. You're going to get through it. Trust me. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that... Smile. Take a breath. Realize that you're more than that. Don't let it happen. Don't... Don't just sit there. I can't emphasize it. Don't just sit there because you're more than that. You have a purpose. You see, it's your purpose because you were brought into this world because it's you. It's not our purpose. You're more than this. You're more than words. Don't let someone tell you what you can, what you can't be. Don't just float along and let society tell you what to do. Let people tell you what to do. Let an anonymous person tell you what to do. I wish I had someone there to tell me this. When I was going through it. I wish I had believed the people that tried to tell me this. You are more than the words. You are you. And there's nothing wrong with that. So thank you. If anyone needs to speak about this, please feel free to DM me, message me. I'll leave all my details in the bottom. If you've gone through this, if you're going through this, if for any reason you want to speak to me about absolutely anything, I am here. I'm literally always on the phone. I hope this really did touch people that have been through this. And I really do hope that if you're the person bullying people, that you will sit down and think, of what your words, what your actions are doing to the person. <laughs> Sorry, the dog is barking on the other side, cheering me on. Yeah, so thank you for listening and taking your time. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for any videos, please DM me also. And remember, God's delay 
It's not God's denial. See you next time. You're the lucky ones Cause most of our feelings They are dead and they are gone We're setting fire